Would you like to print these DIY envelopes right now for free? Keep watching! Hello everyone, my name is Tina, I am head of design of Victoria Designs and today I have another freebie for you. Two fantastically beautiful envelopes and I'm going to show you how to make them with two different closures. Click on the link in the description to opt in for the free download. And before we get started, if you like paper crafting like I do and you haven't subscribed yet, click and now let's start. These envelopes are approximately the same but one has darker embellishments and one has lighter and I'm going to show you how to make these with two different closures. Let me start with this one. These envelopes have rounded corners but the main part can be trimmed. I printed this one on 160 grams paper that's um, 59 LB cover. I cut everything out here. This is obviously the envelope. There's also two cards and a little circle for the closure if you want to close it like this. So you see most of the parts of this envelope and these cards can be cut with the normal trimmer. So that goes pretty quickly. The rest we will have to cut with our scissors. Now round corners are a bit trickier to cut, but there's no harm in covering it up with some ink. This is totally optional, you don't need to do this. I used the antique linen color again, you know I like that color and it matches this envelope perfectly. And the next step is to score these lines so I can fold the envelope. There we go, and just fold every part inwards. First I want to close these two side tabs and you can choose which side you want to have over the other. So I'm going to put some glue here, about here, and I'm just going to make a little pencil mark. So, yeah, if I stay within this area for gluing, that's just perfect. Of course, there's a lot of ways you can glue this. And for the first one, I'm going to use double-sided tape like this, one here, one inside my marks. There and just close the envelope. Pretty! Now I'm going to close the bottom flap and I'm just going to add one piece of tape here. Uh, let's get rid of this and it's closed. Now for the closure I add it a circle it's a half inch circle actually it's a bit larger so when you punch it with a half inch circle punch you will have a perfect punch without white edges but do you know what i just discovered i discovered that what i thought was a half inch punch is exactly a 5 8 inch punch and i only discovered this now if there are others in my position like this don't worry just cut it out, make sure it's centered like this. Of course there's a white edge now, but there's nothing a little ink can't solve. So now I'm going to use a darker color to really cover up that white. You might say, why don't you just cut the circle with your scissors? And let me tell you, Cutting circles with scissors, especially small ones, is so tricky to get them pretty. I prefer punches any day. That problem solved and now I'm going to attach this one here. This is a really small hole punch, but you can easily use an awl or just a needle. You don't need this at all. I want this one here. So about here. Hole one. And I'm going to attach this circle to the envelope with a really small bronze colored 
bread. This is a really small one. So and you can cover this up with a bit of washi tape or you can make a liner to fit in here. And then just take a little piece of twine, put it under the circle, make a little knot, cut off the excess tail like this. And then you can or close it like this. Or, if you like, you can close it like this. Any way you like. So, that's very pretty. The card can be put in the envelopes, a bit smaller. So, you can put like two cards in here or even more. You can embellish these cards with some extras some for the flower. There's, there's more than enough room in here. And another possibility is, if you would like to embellish the front, is take one of these cards and treat it the way that I did in a previous video, how to age paper. So if you treat it like this and you attach it to the front of this envelope, it will be very, very beautiful. I'll put a link below where you can find that video to make this into that. So that's all kinds of possibilities. Let me close this up. And now I'm going to show you another way to close this one. And the second envelope I printed on 300 grams of paper. That's 110 LB cover. And I'm going to assemble this almost exactly the same as this one. I cut and folded the second envelope the same way I did before. And I'm going to close it with this. This is a clasp or a latch that's normally used to close little boxes like jewelry boxes and they come with little screws but I'm going to use these mini brads again they fit perfectly through the holes and they look like little nails it's so cute I already measured where my holes are going to be please be very sure where your holes need to be and I'm going to attach this closure before gluing this envelope closed it's going to come like this so this latch is going here now normally this second part is going to come here it depends on the width of your closure if it will fit on there or not but i'm not going to attach it like this i'm going to turn this part 90 degrees like this and it will look like a little t if you would like to use this particular closure, I'll put a link below where you can find it. Now that I'm 100% sure where my holes are going to be, I'm going to punch them. This one will be attached like this. Let's add a little brad. Open the legs. And this one goes here. There. And your envelope is closed. So the only downside of putting your lock in a T-shape like this is that this little nail head will push up this part a bit. If you don't like that, I suggest you turn the bottom part of this lock 90 degrees. And now we're going to glue this thing together. Same way. Now I'm going to use some glue instead of double-sided tape, I think, to show you that both items work. I'm going to put a few markings to show where I need to stay. So I need to stay within these markings with my glue. This. And then let's close this. Hold it a bit to let the glue dry. And then I'm going to close the bottom tab. Some glue here, here and here, just along the edges. 
just make sure you don't put any glue on this piece here. Close, hold it for a bit. I didn't ink the edges of this envelope, but you can do that, of course. And then your envelope is ready. Look how pretty that is. Because I put the lock this way in the T shape, it will be a bit bulkier than if I would have turned it that way, which is perfectly possible, it just fits. So here you have it, two very pretty little envelopes that you can make. You can get these printables for free if you opt in on the link in the description. If you like these freebies, please give this video a thumbs up so I can add more for you guys. Share this video with your crafty friends and I thank you for watching. See you next time, bye!